winter is coming. Hey, this is Jared from DIY with Confidence. And you can tell that fall is in the air. It's warm during the day, but at night it's starting to get chilly. Might just be the cold. You'll also recognize that it's time for us to get ready for winter. Winter is coming. One of the first signs that we notice that we're entering into fall and that winter is upon us is that we start to get cold air seeping through our entry doors, front door, sometimes garage door, the rear door. They have weather barrier on the outside or on the, on the edges and underneath in the sweep. But sometimes after the summer of settling and stretching like a house does, and also over years of use, some of those things kind of wear out and uh, we need to adjust them. I can see gap all the way about a foot up. And in fact, you can even see sunlight right there coming through. And I can feel it. I can feel the air coming through the colder air. It's cold outside. You don't know cold. As I lift the sweep, this plastic or rubber thing on the bottom is called a sweep because it sweeps the threshold. I can see sunlight right through there. That air is just creeping right through. We're gonna address two things. First, this is the this is a foam weather stripping, and you can see that it's intended to fold back on itself and create a cushion for that door to, to block the air though to block the air from coming through. This is so compressed. This is probably 10 years old. Look at that, there's not even any foam in there at all. It's so compressed that it's not doing its job anymore. The second thing we're gonna do is address this threshold because the threshold is the part that we need to raise up so that the sweep actually sweeps against it. Let's start first with the threshold. Let's raise it back up into place. The threshold has screws placed along it in four different locations, one, two, and then two more over there. As you tighten this down, it'll push up on the threshold. What we wanna do then is raise the threshold so it's brushing on the sweep. You don't wanna use a little screwdriver like that, and you don't wanna use a little screwdriver like that. <laughs> That's not a knife. You want the big one. That's a knife. You see how easily that raises? And we wanna raise these enough that it's going to evenly catch that sweep on the bottom of the door. Let's shut the door and give it a try. I can hear that sweep sweeping across it now. By the way, I'm also noticing the sweep is broken. So let's replace that as well. The simple way to fix this is actually to replace it. And the way to do that is just grab this thing and it just pulls out. This is then just a foam, foam in the shape of a V that compresses with the door. This is a hard plastic flap with two rubber fins on it that'll fit inside this channel on the door. As a replacement, I've chosen one. It looks the same. You'll notice that this one's made out of rubber. And as it the door shuts, it's going to press there. This is, this is more resilient than that foam one. It's not going to compress as much. It'll last longer. And this one costs three times as much, but in my mind, it's worth doing it. We're talking a difference of $4 versus $12. These come in 81 inch lengths. My door is typically going to be 80 inches in height, which means I'm going to have about an inch of extra, which is what I want. I don't want to have a deficiency. So I'll cut the rest off. Now I'm gonna run my hands down the whole thing just to make sure it's set. I'm just applying even pressure to the back of that plastic strip. So start by putting about an inch in and push it down so that it's gonna hit all the way onto the door jam. Then, work your way from there. Do I not see any light coming through anywhere along here now? 
I can't hear through it. I can't hear you. This is gonna be really good during the winter. Winter is coming. Now all I've gotta do is figure out this whole sweep on the bottom of the door. I can see this sweep is pretty beat up. It has a foam piece that comes across the front here that is just destroyed, it's gone. These no longer sweep, they're all compressed down. They're a mess. So you can see there, this has got two channels that fit in here, two plastic channels. So it's got a hard plastic base, two plastic channels, and then the rubberized sweeps. That's the kind I need to purchase to replace this with. Day two. Receive my package from Amazon. Here it is. My bottom door seal. It's a two pack. What's a two pack? It's just my just really cool ripper, and he's like my best friend. Okay, you remember, as we looked under that door sweep, all of this was not only compressed, but it was totally worn off. It was broken, cracked. Most of this was missing. So I'm hoping that number one, we can put this in without taking the door off again. That would be great. And number two, I'm hoping that uh, I'm actually pretty confident that this is gonna seal up that bottom even better than it was before. We're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six points of contact rather than just one and sometimes none from that broken piece. And remember how bad this one is. It's broken in so many places. I'm gonna start on the inside of the door down here at the bottom where this hits against the plate. Before, I could feel airflow down here. Now I feel absolutely nothing. I feel nothing. Not the wind on my face. Perfect. I'm Jared from DIY with Confidence, where attitude is more important than aptitude, helping you gain the skills to uh, tackle DIY projects and your, around your house. Please give me a thumbs up and like this video as well as consider subscribing to this and future videos so that you can see additional tools, tips, helps. Uh, we'll see you next time on DIY with Confidence.